Hello, and welcome to the Peeping Looney channel. In this video, I will be a peeping tom on 15 sexy sci-fi aliens. This listing is not a ranking, and it is in no particular order. Mainly, so that I can group sexy aliens together, that are from the same show, such as Star Trek, without having to assign a rank to them. Speaking of Star Trek, let us start with their iconic green aliens, the Orions. The original Orion Dancing Girl was played by Susan Oliver in Star Trek's first pilot episode. Us sci-fi geeks and nerds got quite an eyeful and could not get enough of this green temptress. Oops, I prematurely started this listing. Before I continue, I should lay some ground rules for this listing. 1. The aliens must be of the living variety. So, no androids or robots. 2. They must be alien. So, no humans or earthlings. Hence, many sci-fi beauties were excluded, such as Lieutenant Ellen Ripley, played by Sigourney Weaver, of Alien, and Princess Leia, played by Carrie Fisher, of Star Wars. 3. They must be of the live-action variety, and not from anime or from video games. However, in the future, I should do a separate video on sexy anime beauties, and a separate video on sexy video game aliens. Okay, let us get back to being peeping toms on sexy sci-fi aliens. Initially, other than they were alien in appearance, Gene Roddenberry gave no further description of the Orion race. By the time that casting was sought, it was decided that the Orion character should be painted green, with the script stating that the character should be wild, green skin, glistening, as if oiled. Marta was the second Orion dancing girl in Star Trek's original series. She was played by Yvonne Craig. Future Star Trek series also include these green-skinned beauties. Another sexy alien from Star Trek is the Borg, Seven of Nine, played by Jerry Ryan. Oh, wait a minute. Seven of Nine would be considered a combination of a human and an android. So, I am breaking two of my own caveats. Oops. What can I say, but, our channel's creator has a crush on Jerry Ryan. So, I will add a bonus alien, at the end of this listing. Seven of Nine was a former Borg drone. She was born Annika Hansen. Assimilated by the Borg at the age of six, Seven was liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager. She joined the crew, and returned to the Alpha Quadrant, with the Starship. In Star Trek, Starfleet uniforms have always been a little snug. However, they are nothing, when compared to the bedazzling catsuit, Jerry Ryan was wearing. I am so jealous of the holographic doctor, that was always attending to her. Probably, the only time the doctor had good bedside manners. Despite their strict adherence to logic and reason, as well as their remarkable stoicism, we find Vulcans, to be another sexy alien species, in the Star Trek franchise. One of our favorites, is Commander T'Pol, played by Jolene Blaylock, in the Star Trek Enterprise television series. Vulcans were once an extremely violent and emotional race, even more so than humans. A philosopher named Surik, was able to get Vulcans to repress their emotions, and embrace logic. We at the Peeping Looney, would sure love, to be in a room filled with Vulcan women, when a muck time comes around. We would also include Romulans in this mix, since they are a splinter species of Vulcans. One of our favorite Romulans, is Commander Sela, played by Denise Crosby, as a recurring character, in the Star Trek, The Next Generation, television series. Likewise, the Star Trek franchise featured many sexy Romulan females, during the course of its shows. Next on our listing is the Borg Queen, who, again, is from the Star Trek franchise. In the 1996 Star Trek film, First Contact, the Borg Queen was portrayed by Alice Critch. The Borg Queen is the entity, that existed within the Borg Collective, and served as its central nexus. According to Seven of Nine, the Borg Queen has a kind of trans-temporal awareness. It bridges into adjacent times and realities. They hear echoes of themselves, and, of each other, the role, emotionality and individuality of the Borg Queen depends on which version of Star Trek she appears in. In short, they were not portrayed consistently throughout the franchise. 
We find her appealing, in a weird macabre, gothic horror, sort of way. Okay, let us move on. We probably can do a separate video, just on sexy alien babes from the Star Trek franchise. From the 1997 film, The Fifth Element, Mila Jovovich portrays the orange-haired nymph, Lee Lumini, La Cotariba, Lamina Chai, Ekbat, Disabat, or Lee Lu, for short. Lee Lu is one of the supreme beings of the universe. She was sent to Earth in corporeal form, to become the fifth element, which is the final piece, of a powerful weapon, meant to destroy the great evil entity. Her human form remains, along with four elemental stones, were locked away in an ancient Egyptian temple. Centuries in the future, her remains were reconstituted in a high-tech, military laboratory. Wow, upon seeing such a being, I will have trouble, keeping my thoughts pure. In the 1995 film, Species, Syl, was played by Natasha Henstridge. Known as Test Subject S1L, Syl is a woman created, using DNA codes, from outer space. She was raised, and monitored in a controlled lab environment, until the scientists studying her, attempted to kill her. Escaping her confines, she broke out into Los Angeles, where she continued to evolve. Outwardly, Syl has the appearance of an attractive human female. Her alien form is reptilian. She became a deadly hypersexual predator, and fell to her alien instinct, to find a suitable male, mate, and kill her partner, after mating. Well, I can think of worst ways to go. In the early 2000s, the Farscape television series, the character, Chiana, is an Abari, which is a grey-slash-blue-skinned species, whose society is heavily regimented, by an authoritative and intolerable governmental body. Chiana is portrayed by the actress Gigi Edgeley. When the crew of Moya, first meet Chiana, she was a liar, thief, and brat. While being on Moya, she changes to being a good, loyal companion. Hmm, instead of naming it, Farscape, I think, John Crichton's Harem, would have been a more appropriate title for the series. The green-skinned Gamora, was probably inspired by Star Trek's Orion species, mentioned previously before in this video. Gamora Zen Huberi Ben Titan, is played by Zoe Saldona, in the 2014 and 2017, Guardians of the Galaxy, films. Gamora is stoic, distant, honorable, easily irritated, aggressive, and ruthless, but also caring, protective, supportive, and motherly. Gamora was a former Zehobere assassin, who grew a conscience, and became a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Saint X-Men is played by the tall and voluptuous, Sybil Danning, in the 1980 film, Battle Beyond the Stars. Saint X-Men comes from a warrior race, from the planet, Valkyrie. With her big attitude, Saint X-Men traverses known space, looking to prove to anyone, that she is the baddest bitch, in the galaxy. The Valkyrie Creed is, live fast, fight well, and have a beautiful ending. Her appearance in the film was short, and we wish it could have been longer. From the Lex television series, Lyka is a deadly living plant, capable of taking on a human appearance. She feeds on living organisms. Lyka is played by Louise Wisherman. Early in season 2, of the show, she boards the Lex, and later agrees not to consume the crew, as long as, they provide her, with a regular supply of food, which typically consists of any guests, that board the Lex. Hey, I would not mind, becoming fertilizer for her. From the 80s, V television series, the Earth Conquering, in disguise, reptilian race aliens, were known as the Visitors. Their chief science officer and second in command was, Diana, who was played by Jane Badler, and is one of the major antagonists in the show. She ascends through the ranks, mainly by murdering her leaders, eventually reaching the rank of Supreme Commander. Hmm. I wonder, if I would not mind, to be conquered by a lizard, disguised to look like the hottie, Diana? Well, I guess it goes to show you, beauty is only skin deep. Sybil Danning returns to our list. This time by playing the visitor character, and antagonist, Mary Kruger. 
Mary Kruger was called, the Dark Angel of Dallas, and was the leader of the Dallas Visitor Mothership. She once was the apprentice of Diana. The Space Vampire Queen, in the 1985 film, Life Force, was played by Matilda May. The premise of the film is, a race of space vampires arrives in London, and infects the whole world, beginning an apocalyptic descent into chaos. Instead of blood, these space vampires suck the life energy out of their victims, leaving behind life energy craving zombies. Hey, I would not mind being sucked dry, by this sexy alien vampire. The metamorphosis capable alien, Serlina Zath, is played by Lara Flynn Boyle, in the 2002 film, Men in Black 2. Serlina is a Kylothian, a race of plant and worm-like organisms, from the planet Jorn. They have regenerative properties, and are capable of shape-changing. Jorn must be a planet with heavy gravity, because Serlina displays superhuman strength, in the film. She even refers to the Earth, as a silly little planet. Destroying many planets in her wake, Serlina was an operative of the Kylothian military, who went to Earth, on a fruitless quest. Her hostile, aggressive, and ruthless nature, makes her, one of the most feared aliens in the universe. She has a ravenous appetite, eating either human food, or even humans themselves. Speaking of shape-changing aliens, the next sexy alien on our list, is Maya, who is played by Catherine Skell, in the second season of the, Space 1999, 70s television series. Maya is an alien, from the planet Sycan. She was saved from her planet's obliteration, by the denizens of Moonbase Alpha. She becomes a science officer on the Moonbase, and now uses her shape-shifting powers, to help them in their quests throughout the universe. The Maya character was conceived, to be able to provide, outside observation of human behavior. Much like the character, Mr. Spock, did on the Star Trek series. Another similarity, is that they are both science officers. Hey, I would not mind, being marooned, on the moon, with her. As a bonus, Martian Girl is played by Lisa Marie, in the 1996 film, Mars Attacks. A lot of well-known actors, and actresses, either starred in, or made a cameo appearance in, the movie. Martian Girl sports a 1960s-style beehive hairdo. In the film, she is a Martian spy, sent to Washington, D.C., to assassinate the U.S. president. While seeking prostitutes, the White House press secretary spots the Martian Girl, brings her into the White House, hoping to get some action, and, in the end, does not get what he bargained for. Ultimately, her mission to assassinate the president, fails. This list is definitely not exhaustive, or complete. If there are any other sexy sci-fi aliens, we should include in a future video, please let us know, in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative, and, entertaining. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. We do like to know, and, hear your feedback. We also have merchandise, available for purchase, on our Teespring store. Link to our store, is in the description section below. And, if you have the means, please consider supporting us on Patreon, where we post bonus material. Till next time, this is the Peeping Looney, saying cheers, and, have a good day.